Hey there, internet. So today I'm going to attempt a little bit of threading in steel. Hopefully this goes well. Uh, I've added some features to the ELS. Um, the first one is uh, the RPM display up here at the top. And then I've added a, a table for threading without a compound. My lathe, uh, I can put a compound on it, but it's much more rigid if I have the solid tool post. And so that's the way I'm doing it. And so in order to calculate the right um, offsets and feed depths and all that stuff, I've, I've put everything into this table. So this is going to be an eight millimeter by one thread. And um, let's see if I break a cutter. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is a scratch pass. And I got my thread pitch set to one. There's a 0.2 millimeter per, per offset per additional pass. There's a total of five passes. So let's do our scratch pass. It looks good. Okay, so I'm fed in. My first pass is 30. So we will feed in 30. And a little cutting oil. And here we go. And I don't seem to have fed in. I forgot to feed in. Like that. Do a spring pass. Spring pass. Alright, so if I look at my chart here, pass 2, I want to be 0.44, is this right? I don't know. Let's see. Feed in. And 30, about 44 and a half. Move offset. So this is going to shift everything over to the left by my offset distance. And feed. Oh, reset this. That's a bug. I think this was 20. You have to fix that. All right, second pass. Here's the finished thread. Works pretty good. Um, I got this dimension wrong because I left a, a, a test bearing, test fit for this part of the shaft. I left that on, on there, and I and I didn't account for it, so I had to add another seven millimeters of thread. So that seems to have worked good. Um, it doesn't look super fantastic. Uh, Maybe it's the lighting, I don't know, there's some rough spots. I don't have any of that stuff you can shove in there to clean these up. I forget what it's called, I've seen a few people on YouTube use it. Anyway, it works pretty good. Um, the offsets work okay. I have, to, um, I have to make sure that I memorize this value, do the move, and then set that value back 
because having to do it manually is, is, is it's just another thing to have to think about. And as you can tell, I, I, I'm not bright enough to have a lot of things to think about. Uh, I couldn't even remember to tighten down the tool in the tool post holder. So anyway, um, I think this is I think this is somewhat useful uh, if you don't have a cross feed and you wanted to use just a solid tool post for threading with an ELS. If you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them down in the comment section. Uh, I'm going to be cleaning up the code and and doing a beta release in the next month or two. So if you're interested in doing some testing, also uh, leave a comment here or leave a comment over on GitHub. And uh, thanks for watching.